Hi everyone, it's Allison. And in this practice, we're going to get just a bit more comfortable with kneeling. Um, I know it's off the menu for, um, for some folks with knee injuries and things like that, but if that's not you and you're looking to just feel a little bit more flexible in your calf and your feet and your uh, quads and your knees, then for this practice, you're going to need a rolled up yoga mat or a blanket and some cushion. So if you're on the carpet, great. If you're on a hard floor, get a blanket. So what we're going to start with is actually the feet. So you can do this in any position. You might even be sitting in a chair. We're just going to hold on to one foot and we're just going to bend the toes a few times forward and back. Right. You can do this all sorts of ways. So what I'm doing is I'm actually holding the top of my foot and I'm just kind of mobilizing and juicing into the forefoot. The other way you could do this is to come from the underside and to move the toes forward and back. So either way is totally fine. What I wouldn't want you to do is to be moving your ankle. So this is not going to help as much as getting the toes to move forward and back. Now, additionally with this, you can use your other hand to find your thumb and just gently dig it in right underneath the ball of the foot so that you're starting to warm and loosen into the um, inner arch and the plantar fascia. Okay, and then release. Go ahead and switch sides. So again, you might be coming from the top. Sometimes it's just easier to reach that way, or you can come from the bottom. So we're mobilizing toes. If you'd like, you can use your other hand, your thumb, and give a little dig into the inner arch so that we're really getting some slide and glide into the plantar fascia. You'll probably be able to feel some of those uh, deep muscles as you are moving your toes forward and back. Okay, this is especially great if you tend to get foot cramps in a kneeling position. Now, the next thing we need to work with is the calves and the shins. So go ahead and release the toes. You might just feel the effects of that one. And then let's actually swing around to come to all fours. Now, some people do this with a much, um, a much harder device like foam roller, you know, massagers, all those kinds of things. We're going to use a yoga mat. So what we're going to try to do is to create a little bit of a smoothing out in between the calves and the hamstrings. Um, you're going to place the rolled up blanket or mat behind so that it's pretty close um, to the back of the knees. So we're just going to put this in two spots. So as I put this here, I can either stay forward and try to give a little squish and sit back. This is going to be less sensation than sitting up. Yeah, and it's a really deep squeeze and massage. Take a few cycles of breath. This is really great, especially if you tend toward calf tightness, but you just want to find a realm within this that's very doable. So if you feel like you're not able to relax into it, stay a bit forward or make the roll much smaller. I have a pretty big yoga mat, um, rolled up towel, washcloth, something like that can really help. I mean, there's great calf stretches out there. Um, this is another way to uh, relax and release calf tension by giving that kind of deep massage. Um, so we're going to put this in two places. Right now I have mine a little bit closer to the uh, knee side of my calf. I'm just going to come off and move it a little bit further down. Now I'm not going to get much if I'm close to the heel. So now I'm a little bit more at the lower crest there of the calf. And again, if that's way too much sensation, stay forward. This does get easier. And of course, as you're working with this, um, once you're able to sense all that you feel in your calf and your hamstrings, uh, you might simultaneously be able to relax the soles of the feet. Just notice if there's a tendency to grip there when you're feeling something uh, fairly sensational, like you probably are right now. Okay, so go ahead and come off. 
That was the whole thing. So let's just see if from hands and knees, you can let the tops of the feet stay relaxed on the blanket or on the ground, start to sit back and you might just notice that hopefully this is just a little bit easier than usual. The calves are also probably fairly spread out and maybe a bit more receiving of the weight of the hamstrings above. Keep playing with this. This is just a couple kind of fun ways that you can improve your kneeling posture. Um, you can also come up to a stand and notice if, that, if this has improved the feel of standing as well. Um, thanks so much for trying out this video and I hope to see you in the next one.